Hello YouTube, this is Devin, and as you might remember, I had you guys vote on which new game we're going to be playing for the next Let's Play. And you guys voted for Transformers. And I'm really glad that you did, because it's like my favorite game ever. So without further ado, we are going to start. Um, this is a fantastic game, sci-fi shooting game, lots of strategy. Fantastic game for its time. It's, it's simply amazing. <laughs> It's my favorite game. And we're going for a PS2 game, because we haven't played a PS2 game yet. So, that should be interesting. One thing that really impresses me about this game is the cutscenes. They are outstanding from a graphical standpoint. Just fantastic graphics for its time. And gameplay. Like, the whole the whole game is just awesome for its time period. And uh, we're going to watch a little um, opening um, cutscene before we start the game. And I'm not going to talk through it. See what they did there? Transformed the logo. Get it? Uh... Okay, I'll shut up now. And next up should be the cutscene. So there we go. It gives you a little bit of an overview of the plot. Basically, there's a war going on on Cybertron between the Autobots and the Decepticons, and there's this little sub-race of Transformers called the Minicons, and they're just fed up with it. They're like, guys, we have no part in this. We have no interest in being here. We're going to jet. And so they get in their spaceship, and they start flying off, but for some reason, they're, they're like, no, uh, we're going to shoot at your ship. And so they shoot at the ship. Ship gets damaged right before it goes through the warp gate. Um, comes out of the warp gate on the other side, damaged. Oh. Nope. Yeah, if you leave it on the main menu for too long, it'll go back to the cutscene. And so, obviously, ship's damaged. Uh, they don't know where the warp gate's headed. They come out on this random planet that we know as Earth, and they crash land there. And, uh, lay dormant for a million years. And the reason that the Autobots and the Decepticons so desperately want to find these Minicons is these Minicons are essentially weapons, like super powerful weapons. And whichever side could get the most Minicons gets the most weapons, which will help them win the war. So that's the whole premise. And it's going back to the cutscene again. So I'm going to stop talking, and I'm actually going to play. We're going to go with a new game. And we'll just overwrite that one. Um, the three difficulties, um, they change, of course, the difficulty levels of combat, but also where certain items are. So, on the hardest difficulty, items are harder to get to, and we're going to play on the hardest difficulty. Because I've played this game several times, and it's kind of easy for me. And here's another cutscene, I think. Yep. This will get you a bit more specific specifics on what's going on.
would have waited an eternity for this. Of course, you have the classic Optimus catch line, roll out. So, Minicons, Strand on Earth finally wake up and are like, dude, uh, we don't want to be here, um, come help us. So they send a distress signal back to Cybertron. And this is your main menu, Autobot HQ. It's where you'll come to do a lot of stuff, rearranging your weapons, changing your characters. Um, there's three characters you can play as. Optimus Prime. Hot Shots, and Red Alert. Now, I generally try to play as Red Alert for the first half of the game because his stats are pretty good. Well-rounded, he's a good warrior. He's a better warrior than Prime is. Um, I just don't like his lack of speed is my main issue with him. But later on in the game, Optimus can carry more weapons than Red Alert can. So later on in the game, when the weapons... Um, start getting bigger and whatnot and more powerful, we'll go with Optimus. But for now, Red Alert. I never play as Hot Shots because he just sucks as a warrior. The only thing is going from his speed, which I never really need. So, Red Alert it is. He sounds like Robocop. Ready for duty. Actually, I've never seen Robocop, so I wouldn't know. And then here you have your Minicons. Minicons are your weapons. And... You start off with no Minicons, obviously, because that's why the Autobots are here on Earth, is to collect Minicons. And then you have your Drop Zones, which is basically levels, worlds, whatnot. And the first one is the Amazon, where the Distress Signal originated from, and that's where we're going to be going first. So, I know introductory video a bit slow but I have to get you all up to date on what the game's about and uh, how it works and we'll open up this world with another cutscene they have a lot of them I like it and again just really good quality cutscenes for a 2004 game nice tropical jungle And the orchestral soundtrack's really good, too. Now, those enemies you see dropping out of the dropships, uh, they are called Decepticlones. They are Megatron's army. In this, there's... In this level, we'll be facing three types of Decepticons. Light units, the easy grunts, medium units, which are a bit harder, more commander type, and a heavy unit, which will be the boss. And there's a dropship. You can shoot these down, it just takes a lot. And we have a call. The Decepticons have followed the Minicon signal to Earth. Our mission is to locate the Minicons before they do. Megatron has a head start, and his new Decepticlone army substantially outnumber us. Navigate your way to the top of that cliff, and survey the area. Is that clear? Yep. Check. Yeah, you'll be getting regular updates um, throughout the game from your commander. 
Optimus Prime. Unless you're playing as Optimus, in which case Red Alert is the one that gives you um, directions. Now, it's been a while since I played this, so I might forget uh, the controls occasionally. We're picking up enemy activity. It's one of Megatron's new Decepticlone soldiers. Get ready to engage. Let's see how effective those Decepticlones really are. Is that understood? Yes, sir. So this is our first taste of combat. It's really easy. Also, I'm going to be approaching this LP... Um, under the assumption that none of you have played this game. Because not very many people have. The Decepticlones have found a Minicon, and are preparing to load it onto that dropship. Engage the enemy and recover that Minicon. Did you get that? Confirmed. Alright. So, um, here we can do a bit... Oh, my controller's acting up. It's that thumbstick. If you watch my Spyro videos, you know what I'm talking about. The thumbstick just gets weird sometimes. So, you do a bit of a, uh, it's not exactly sniping, it's just zooming in, I guess. Also the music, this is one thing I love about this game. The music gets more or less intense based on how close to enemies you are or how much they realize you're there. It's fantastic. Also, there's no ammo in this game. Just charge time. Now, if I wanted to, I could just sit here and shoot this thing for like 10 minutes and it would eventually blow up. Like right now, it's starting to smoke. Ah, what the heck, I'll go for it. I'll shoot it down. There we go. Oh, and all these little glowing orb things that enemies drop, um, that's Energon. Um, if your health is low, this will replenish your health. So. And here's our first Minicon. I believe this is a safeguard. Yep, that's safeguard. It's an armor Minicon. A Minicon. Good work. Every Minicon you rescue allows you to access extra functions and use different weapons. Keep your optics open while you're out in the field. Minicons could be anywhere. You can equip new Minicons as you rescue them. If you want to modify your Minicon loadout, return to Autobot HQ via a warp gate. Eh, why not? We'll attach it. So now we have better armor. Um, you'll see there's an additional logo on the bottom left. That bottom left is my health bar, by the way. Um, there's another small little red icon next to the Autobot logo that's telling me that I have armor on. And so that's, um, that's a little taste of what this game is like. So this is a little introductory video for you guys to get you in the feel of things. And in the next video, combat should be fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video.